All right, so I'm going to uh, roll the sled. I'm using two uh, sticks on both sides, and uh, if you stack it up, uh, you can roll it thicker. So this is about, uh, I would say, half inch thick. And um, I'm going to uh, trim the, the base for my uh, easy plate. So this time I'm rolling it a bit thicker. If you don't, if you don't bother to trim it, uh, you probably could use only one piece. That is about uh, a quarter of an inch. Maybe a uh, half an inch, a bit too thick, so I am going to reduce the thickness to uh, probably three eighths of an inch. So this is the way to roll your slab if you don't have a machine. You don't have a slab roller. You keep on rolling until the uh, size of the uh, slab doesn't get bigger. Right, so that's good. Um, when you try to lift it up, it might, um, the piece, if the, your bed is too dry, it might shift a little bit. So, uh, you can add a little water on your bed. Right, and then uh, just flip over. Okay, the whole piece is not quite in the center, so I'm going to bump my own side. This side is a little bit wider than that, so I'm going to bump it. See if I can move the clay a bit. I want to use the maximum of uh, the area. Okay, that's good. All right, so a little bit hard to uh, find a pin, so take your time. And uh, I guess you won't be able to see the pin. All right, that's good. Okay. Yep, before I start to uh, lift it from the, the uh, edge, I like to uh, make sure the inside, the center is a little bit uh, flat, actually uh, smooth. There's a, a texture from the canvas, um, you can remove it. And I'm going to use the maximum uh, area, so try to find that uh, border. You can use a fingernail to draw a guideline and then cut from there. Make sure when you're cutting it, hold the uh, knife steady. And I also like to uh, do a little bit of uh, texture in the center. So I'm using my finger to 
make myself a mark there. So I have a guideline that inside the circle, I could uh, do some texture. So this is the uh, roller texture from MKM. And, uh, I found a new one, so uh, I'm trying to put it in the center of my plate. Then uh, I'm using a um, wooden knife to try to flip over from the edge. Uh, and then um, after that, I will I use a sponge to throw. Because I told you that uh, the clay is a bit thicker, so I can make the rim a little bit uh, uh, thinner here. And before doing that, um, it might be a good idea just to remove the uh, splash pan so that I could hold my two a little bit sideways, more horizontal. And slowly put it in, insert it. And then uh, slightly flip my tool right slightly let go and then uh, this time I'm going to use a sponge once I uh, bring the edge a little bit higher I could uh, put my sponge underneath So make sure I have a finger, uh, my finger inside to uh, compress it. Okay, so to a making a easy plate uh, from the slab. I leave the bar bottom a bit thicker, so that's about uh, three eighths of an inch. So if you want to trim a foot, you still have a room to do. Uh, otherwise, if you don't want to trim it, roll your slab a bit thinner, like quarter of an inch, and you don't need to trim it. And uh, it will pop up uh, by itself when the whole piece dry. Um, that way, uh, you just clean up the, the base and uh, it's easy if you don't want to trim it. Uh, make sure that uh, the uh, two pinholes, sometimes the two, when you try to uh, lift it up, it, you, you get a bump. So uh, try to uh, get away from it when you try to lift. So uh, maybe to avoid that the, the, the pinhole where you are try to lift it up. Make your plate a bit larger or make your plate a little bit smaller so it avoid the two pinholes. So this is the uh, quick easy way to make the plate. Alright, see you next time.